Hello everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll talk about how to soundproof a ceiling in your home and how much it costs to soundproof your ceiling and how to do it the DIY way. There are certain times where a person would love nothing more than to have a completely soundproof ceiling. Sometimes this is for homeowners, but more often than not, those living in an apartment are the ones looking for solutions. Maybe the neighbors upstairs are a little too noisy. Perhaps the entire area is just loud in general. Like myself, some people only want to make sure they have a quiet place to do recordings. Whatever the case is, soundproofing a ceiling is somewhat complicated. There are a lot of suggestions out there that don't really work, but when people are searching for solutions, there are some ways to silence the sound from above. We'll talk about a permanent ceiling soundproofing solution. The hard thing about soundproofing a ceiling is that it is usually the most expensive and time consuming fix out there, along with soundproofing floors. You will need to attach a vent or fixture extender if you're soundproofing an existing ceiling. This is not complicated, but it is necessary. So let's start with solution number one, five eight inch layers of drywall. The cheapest method is to use layers of drywall to create the barrier. Usually two layers are sufficient for ceilings. Make sure that your second layer of drywall has a thickness of five eight inch and not half inch. The added thickness will not only block more noise, but will also look better. Most ceilings nowadays are 5 8 inch anyway, but just make sure that your second layer is not half inch and go with the 5 8 inch. Another reason why people use drywall is that it's not incredibly challenging to handle if you have a friend that can help you. If you're tackling this project alone, then you should use a drywall panel lift hoist. You can rent one from your local hardware store or simply buy one from Amazon. Hiring someone for the job is the most efficient method, but this will cost more, of course, usually two or three people to soundproof a ceiling or the entire room are the way to go if you have a larger budget. Leftover drywall can be used if needed in other areas of your home. Since most people end up soundproofing the ceiling as part of a more significant project, don't label anything as scrap and try to reuse what you can. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. And also feel free to leave a comment, I would love to hear your feedback and also your questions that I would do my very best to answer. Thank you. Number 2 is Green Glue Noise Proofing Compound. Green glue noise proofing compound is a must if you're going to be soundproofing the ceiling using a second layer of drywall. I'm a big fan of green glue products because they are not only cheap but they also work. Green glue noise proofing compound is a viscoelastic noise dampening compound that when sandwiched between two layers of drywall, it greatly reduces the amount of sound transmitted through the walls or ceiling. This compound acts as an air void between two layers and also absorbing some of the noise hitting the wall or ceiling. All you need to do before you install the second layer of drywall onto the ceiling is to use two tubes of compound for every sheet of drywall. Make sure you get some on the entire surface of the drywall by placing the compound in a random pattern. Green glue compound will make enough of a difference that it makes it worth it when the cost of a single tube is only around $20. Number 3. Resilient Channel A resilient channel is another thing you can do that will make a huge difference when soundproofing a ceiling in your home. This is not something you could do in an apartment, but you could certainly do this in a condo that you own. It would also be a great selling feature if touted as being the quietest unit in the building. The number one benefit of resilient channel is its ability to decouple structure-borne noise at a reasonable cost. By using a thin metal channel designed to substantially improve the sound insulation of drywall, sheetrock, plasterboard walls, and ceilings. The best time to use this method is when you have an unfinished ceiling, when you can simply attach a channel directly to the stud work to make a separation between the studs and the drywall. If you have a finished ceiling, you can simply attach the metal channel directly on the existing ceiling and then attach the second layer of drywall. Number 4. Soundproof Insulation there's of course no such thing as a soundproof insulation, but rock wool acoustic mineral wool insulation is the next best thing. This method only works with an unfinished ceiling before you install the drywall and works excellent in conjunction with the resilient channel. 
This acoustic mineral wool insulation comes in either 4 or 8 pounds per unit density. It is very cost effective and has a very high NRC rating. It is water repellent and also holds a class A fire rating. The insulation boards are much more rigid than your typical pink fiberglass insulation and can be used to make acoustic panels or even a generator quiet box with the leftovers. Number 5. Acoustic Paint Using acoustic paint to help soundproof the ceiling will undoubtedly help drown out airborne noise but will do very little to get rid of structure borne noise. Make sure to apply at least 3 coats if you're looking to knock down a few more decibels coming from the room upstairs. Only applying one coat will do nothing when it comes to soundproofing. I'll leave a link in the description below of a video on my channel that talks about soundproofing paint and if it works and I'll give you all the facts about this type of soundproofing product. So make sure to watch that video, it might just be all you need to make that small difference. And now I'll give you a few tips before you begin soundproofing. These soundproofing tips might only apply to a small portion of you, but you might be one of those people that would benefit from them, so keep watching. First tip is look out for windows and doors. Windows and doors usually don't go right up against the ceiling of course, but that might change if the drywall lowers the ceiling overall. If they become too close, it might need to cut out a little to make room for windows and doors. This is especially when using a resilient channel over an existing ceiling because you will end up losing a couple of inches. That doesn't seem like much, but you'd be surprised as to what's out there in older homes, especially so be mindful. This is somewhat of a complicated matter, but nothing insanely difficult. Take proper measurements before cutting and everything should work fine. Make smart estimates. Drywall is relatively inexpensive, but a decent amount will be needed for a ceiling. One way to save time, money and energy is to make smart estimates before buying the material. It can get pretty tedious to go back and forth to the store to get everything. Usually there's our bulk discounts as well, so it ends up saving money to buy everything up front. Have a removal strategy. If you don't own the condo or the apartment, chances are it will need to be removed when moving out. Not a lot of landlords are going to be crazy about a soundproofing ceiling that may or may not hold up structurally over the long haul. The consensus is to consult with a landlord beforehand. They might be a little hesitant at the idea at first, but there are ways to soundproof a ceiling without making any changes to the homes. That's right, you can soundproof a ceiling and tear it down without the next person even realizing what was done. If there is no language in the lease about building something like this, be upfront with management and let them know all the specifics. They are usually more likely to allow it if everything is specifically explained. Also point out that soundproofing a ceiling makes the condo or the apartment quieter for you and neighbors. Heck, the landlord might even pay a portion if you make a deal with them to sign a longer lease. The worst that they can say is no, so give it a try. And now I'll talk about temporary solutions. Before jumping into a full soundproofing project, there are some temporary solutions that people who need help as soon as possible. Most people aren't going to be trying to use these temporary solutions long term because it's just not worth it. These are also the cheapest options if the sound is truly troublesome. It's not so much about soundproofing the area, but blocking the noise for an individual or drowning it out with a more peaceful sound. The first one would be earbuds. The easiest solution is earbuds, which can help in so many ways. Yes, the cheap ones that are available in large packs at a local store will do just fine. They won't completely block out all sound, but it's usually sufficient for a good night's sleep. Some people also use them while trying to focus while awake. These can be beneficial for those people who live in an urban area and might be struggling with sound coming from the outside. Also, you could try white noise machines. More and more people are turning to white noise machines to help drown out noise at all hours of the day. Most people use these while trying to go to sleep, but these can also be used to focus during the day. It's not going to make things silent, but it is going to produce a noise that does not disrupt in any way. Some people like these machines more than wearing earbuds, while others aren't really fans. 
The good news is, if people want to sample a white noise machine, there are free and inexpensive apps on a smartphone to download and use. It allows a person to realize whether or not it is truly beneficial for them. Soundproofing a ceiling will show instant results. Even if done without the help of a professional, it's really easy to achieve truly remarkable results. No one wants to be a person who is continuously debating whether they should soundproof a ceiling or an entire room or keep going with the current setup. As I just stated, it benefits a lot of people, even if they don't realize it. If ceiling soundproofing fixes loud music playing inside, neighbors will be thankful in the end. It helps people avoid noise complaints and also keeps sound from coming in as well. Thank you very much for watching and like I said before, consider subscribing to our channel if you like this type of content. And also don't forget to visit our website at soundproofguide.com. Thank you.